Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP, where today we return to North Africa for another game of bolt action. So today's game we'll see the Italian Armored Brigade versus the Sikhs of the Commonwealth Infantry Brigade. So these are two new armies for us, uh, the last two that I painted, and we haven't used them for a while, so we're excited to get them back on the table, and we're going to be playing Jump to Action from Bolt Action Alliance today. Uh, give this one another shot. We had fun with it last time. Should be a good game this time as well. So let's uh, go ahead and dive into the briefing. Actually, before the briefing, let's talk about our channel sponsors. So first, we have our friends over at Kick-Ass Mail Order. So these are a, um, these guys are a U.S.-based mail order company. They do all kinds of hobby stuff. All the uh, 28 mil World War II stuff you'll ever need. Good prices, and if you're in the U.S. especially, uh, it's a really good deal. So check them out. Tell them we sent you. We also have our buddy Chris Reed, who runs Panacea Prints, which is a 3D printer, print shop over on Etsy. And he does really high-quality resin prints. A lot of really obscure stuff too that you'll find in the books but you might not be able to find models anymore for there's a good chance you can find it there so check him out uh, in the description as well and today's mat is the El Alamein map by Geek Bellin uh, this is a fitting map for this game and we've used it before for the North Africa stuff super awesome uh, it's not all desert it's got some green so it's good for the desert and really any kind of arid place so check out the description for that as well and game wise uh, terrain. So we got a bunch of buildings. All the buildings are going to be hard cover, except for the sheds. And then we got some rock walls here as well. These are going to be hard cover. Uh, the roads, obviously, just road rules. And then we do have some dense terrain. We got a little bit here, over there, and over there. And I think that's it. So dense terrain rules can't see through it. Soft cover. And then these rocks are just going to be line of sight blocking terrain. You can't go on them. I guess if you're a spotter, maybe you can go on them, but. Uh, regular units cannot go on the rocks. They're just line of sight blocking terrain. And that's pretty much it for the terrain. Let's talk about the mission. The mission is, as I said earlier, Jump to Action by Bolt Action Alliance, one of Brad's newest missions. And this is going to use five 40 uh, millimeter objectives. So you place one in the center, which is there. And then you place one along the table quarters, 12 inches from each edge. So we got one there, we got one there, we got one here, and we got one here. So that will uh, outline the table quarters, and then we'll roll off, and whoever wins the roll off gets to pick a table quarter. And they will deploy half of their force in that table quarter, the rest will be in reserve. And the uh, attacker will do the same after the defender deploys. The objective of this mission is to capture the most points, not necessarily the most objectives, but the most points, and there's different uh, point values for each objective. So if this is my table quarter here, then the ones touching the, my table quarter edges are worth one point to me. The one in the center is always worth two points, and the ones touching your enemy's table, edge, table quarter edges will be worth two points to you. So it's more valuable to get the center one and move out to get your enemy's objectives than it is to simply just hold your own. But obviously, it's going to be important to defend your objectives as well. So um, games like this are always fun. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of fighting all over the board too, spread out. Uh, instead of just being all concentrated in one area. So it's fun, fun game style, and it's kind of common for the Bolt Action Alliance mission. So with that being said, let's go ahead and look at the forces. So we'll start off here with the Italians. This is the 1940-41 Italian Armored Brigade Western Desert. This is 1,066 points and 12 order dice. So starting off here, we got our command vehicle. It's an M1340 medium tank. But it's really a light tank as far as armor goes. Uh, it's slow and vulnerable. It's got a turret mounted light AT gun, a coax MG, and two hole mounted medium machine guns. So there's two of those. And then we're going to have one M1139 medium tank, which is also a light tank. It's vulnerable. It's got a forward facing light AT gun in the front arc. And it's got two turret mounted medium machine guns. And then we're going to have one auto blinda. This is the one with the auto cannon, and it's got a rear-facing um, machine gun, I believe. It's an armored car, recce, fully enclosed, 7+. plus. Uh, up here, we're going to have an Elephantino light AT gun. And since this is an armored brigade, everything has to have a transport. So we're going to have a captured British artillery tractor. It's like very cheap, I think like 15 points or something. So that's the transport for this thing. Uh, all this stuff is regular, by the way. And then moving on, we're going to have um, three infantry squads. Each is the same, full strength, 10 men. 
think they're full strength. Um, yeah, full strength. I'm sorry about that. Full strength infantry squads, SMG sergeant, LMG, and then each truck is a truck, uh, medium or regular truck with a machine gun. And that is the Italian army. So these guys also have a bunch of special rules I'm going to use out of the uh, North Africa book. So Prudente, uh, infantry take one, an extra minus one to all their order tests, which is horrible. Uh, Testardo, they are stubborn though. They have poor officers, although we don't even have any officers in this, so I guess that doesn't even matter. Uh, and Zari, AT guns can forward deploy. So the only AT gun I have is this Elephantino, and the way that the deployment works in this mission, I'm not sure that'll even come into play, but it might. And then Avanti, infantry can reroll failed advance or run orders if winning, which I don't know how we're going to determine that because you don't know who won till the end, but we'll, uh, if it comes up, we'll just kind of uh, eyeball it and see if they're winning or not. So that's the uh, Italian force. Um, now let's take a look at the uh, Sikhs. So on this side we have the 1940 to 42 Commonwealth Infantry Brigade. This is 1,060 points with 12 order dice. And again, all this stuff is, is um, regular. So starting off we have a second lieutenant or lieutenant with man. They're going to have SMGs. They're going to have three regular infantry sections. Ten men, full strength. Um, the only only different weapon is a Bren team. Even the NCO is going to have just a rifle. And for one of the uh, special rules for these guys is manpower of the Empire. So they get a free 10-man squad. And I've upgraded it with the Bren gun. So we have a total of four regular infantry sections. We're also going to have a captain. And then the good old free artillery observer. Um... We're going to also have a two-pounder a two AT gun. We're going to have two India pattern carriers with extra Bren gun. And then one of them is going to have the boys AT rifle on it. Then we're going to have two Matildas. So you're allowed to take two tanks in this. Um, two, a tank per every two infantry sections. So that allowed me to bring two Matildas. And the Matildas are uh, medium tanks, 9+. plus. They're slow. They have a turret mounted light AT gun and a coax. MMG. And these guys also have a rule called unsurpassed bravery. So you can reroll failed morale checks that would otherwise destroy the unit. So hopefully we'll remember that if that comes up. Uh, that's one we tend to forget. I believe that's a Soviet rule, very uh, uh, just like that as well that we always forget. So anyway, that's the uh, British slash Commonwealth slash Sikh force. And with that, let's get started. All right, so Andres here. He's going to be the British. I'm going to be the Italians. We rolled. I've won. I've won the roll, so I picked this table quarter because it's way better, just with all the <laughs> terrain and everything, all the hard cover. And I've deployed, so I put my two, two, two my two main tanks here, and I put my armored car here to attempt an end around. And then over here, I placed one infantry squad, their truck with machine gun, and then my little tank is deployed here. Andre has deployed his two Matildas right up to here, so we're immediately in close quarters. He's got a squad over here. Is that where you're putting your officer? I was just wondering... Uh, <laughs> right in the middle there? Yeah. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he seems to be deploying right out... Uh, Easy kill point. So he's got uh, a section there, officer there, and he's got his two-pounder and his free observer back there. Uh, one thing I did not mention in the briefing is for every three enemy units killed, you get a victory point. So a way to break ties, should there be a tie. And in reserve, I have a squad and a truck. I have my Elephantino and his artillery tractor. And then outflanking, I have a squad in a truck. Close your eyes, Andre. And they'll be coming in over there. And then Andre has two sections in reserve plus his captain. And then in his, you're going to outflank these guys? No. No outflankers? No outflanking. No outflankers. So he's got two sections. He's going to break up one section and put them in the two India pattern carriers as one unit. And no outflankers. And I think that will do it. So we're ready to begin. All right, so Andre's going to be a dice, dice man today, and we got our awesome tabletop CP dice bag from David Harrison at Dad and Dom Gaming. He sent that to us. So we'll be using that for all of our future bolt action games. So first die, Andre. 
And it is... Uh, that's you. <laughs> You're the British. It is... Uh... <laughs> yeah. I'm gray. You're tan. Okay. All right, so first up will be Andre. First up is going to be the two-pounder. It's going to take a shot at this tank here. So is that... Uh... Damn. I guess we better figure out what the ranges are. <laughs> It'll be long range, so here we go. Needing a four. Woo! Oh no, it's a hit. So you're ah, a plus hmm. four, and I'm an eight. No, no, you're a plus three because you're long range. Okay. Ooh. It's a tie. It's a tie. So minus three on the roll here. So two. Two. So he's immobilized. Oh my. Yeah. Immobilized. He's really slow. He's beyond slow. Well, at least he can cover the center objective. And, and he takes two pins. Couple of pins. Nothing but a couple of pins. And an immobilized. And uh, So he's immobile. A uh, couple of pins. I'll take that as the first shot. Okay, next die. Probably going to get some return fire now, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. He said we were 32, right? <laughs> so another one of Andre's. Andre has advanced one of the Matildas up six. It's a slow tank, so he moved six. And he is going to fire at the non damaged tank. It's a hit. That's two hits. A two as a light AT gun, so nothing but a pin. Okay. As you're a four, plus two is a six. I'm an eight. So it is a pin. Alrighty. Okay, next die. He's getting right in the path of his two-pounder. That's me. I'm gray. Coincidence? Hmm. Yeah, there's two colors in there. If it's not yours, the other one has to be mine. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, I'll think about what I want to do here. So I did pass an order with the immobilized tank, which drops me down to one pin. I'm going to fire the light AT gun at the Matilda, and I'm going to fire the two hole-mounted MMGs at the two-pounder. So it'll be four for the Matilda for the one pin, five for the pin in the long range on the two pounder. Uh, two hits. Two hits on nothing on the tank, but two hits onto the two pounder. And he's got a gun shield, so that brings him from a four to a five to kill. I got one. Got one. So one dead and a pin. Is that really a three-man crew? Yep. Wow. So a dead, uh, dead two pound crewman and a pin, nothing on the Matilda. And yeah, that'll do it for that tank. So we move on to the next die. Which is another one of Andre's. All right, Andre's gonna put something down. And here, yeah, I'll do the same. Okay, here we go, we'll come back. <laughs> We've gone through all the stuff in reserve uh, equally. And then we pulled one of Andre, so it's Andre's go. Andre had the section in the woods here, just advance up to the edge of the woods. He's got no targets, so next die. Another one of Andre's. So what do you got left? You got a Matilda, you got your officer, and you got your spotter. My officer will uh, move up behind the... Okay. <laughs> hide, hide a little better. One of mine. The little M1139 has run, so it's not slow. They're all vulnerable, but this tank is not slow. So he just ran up the road, or advanced up 18. Next die. No targets, but he's making his move. Another one of Andre's. So that's the Matilda, or your spotter. So Matilda! The second Matilda has run up behind those trees there. Next die. Okay, uh, so I have this guy left, and this guy left. Oh, and my squad and my truck. Auto Blenda zipped around, or he ran, and he got behind this rock. A little worried about that Matilda, but that was the plan, right? Ooh. Get him around the flank. So another one of Andre's. And the rest is you. Okay. Last thing of turn one for Andre was his free spot, free artillery spotter, and he placed it right there by that building. So I do have troops on the other side and then the tanks. So uh, the last thing is I have my tank 
and these guys over here. At the end of turn one, I failed my one pin order to get away from the uh, the artillery coming in, obviously. I was gonna just drive up, and but so that's not happening. And then I did move these guys. I advanced them up into the middle, the crossroads here, just to get away from the artillery and get towards the objective. And then the truck kind of did a couple pivots, followed them, and that's it for turn one. Yep, turn two, roll for the artillery. Come on, three. Hmm. That might that's, be a delay. Yeah, I think that's delayed. Delayed. Yeah, because one is a misfire, two, three is a delay, and then four plus, I believe, is it comes in. So, okay. Well, we dodged a bullet there. Okay. They're busy doing something else. Next day. Hey, it's one of mine. Okay. Our little tank has advanced up the road. We did our 90 degree pivot. We're going to get a side shot onto the Matilda. It's risky because he has a boys AT rifle, an India pattern carrier that can come off and get me vulner um, vulnerable on the side, but I figured this is the best thing. So I need a four because I moved. It's a hit. Ooh. So that's going to make me a five because I'm hitting you on the side and you're a nine. So I need a four plus again to do some damage to the Matilda. Oh, Ooh. nothing but a pin. Nothing but a pin, but hey, I'll take it. We'll be happy with that. Okay. The well, next die is one of Andre's. Hmm. Andre passed an order with the two pounder. He's going to fire again at this tank here, uh, needing a four. It's another hit. Oh, oh my god, Tam! All right, Andre. <laughs> you can stop hitting it every <laughs> single time you roll. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. So that is a penetrating hit because you're down one for long range, but... Oh, oh wow. Thank you. <laughs> that tank is destroyed. Okay. Two pounder. All right. Next die. Wow. Okay. Uh, it's a little early to be this lucky, but... No, oh, it'll turn. It always does. Another one of Andre's. This Matilda has come around and he's gonna take a side shot at this dude. It's another hit. <laughs> uh, four, five, six, seven. That's a tie because you're hitting this. Oh no, it's a pen because it's plus one because I'm vulnerable. Rivet tank. <laughs> so another penetrating hit. <laughs> uh, he's dead. <laughs> okay, well there goes all my armor. And pretty much any chance I have of doing anything anymore, because I have no way to answer to those Matildas. I do have the Elephantino, and that guy over there. But other than that, it's just a bunch of inf three infantry squads. All right, next die. Oh wait, I still got my armored car. Yep. And do something. A, a potential rear shot. Rear shot. He's got a, <laughs> potential. He's got an arm, uh, auto cannon. If you move far enough, you can get a front shot. <laughs> Another one of Andres. Andre has placed this section on ambush. Hey, look, an Italian dice. Well, at this point, I really have no choice, but I gotta try to take down one of these Matildas. So it's an auto cannon, plus two, but I'm hitting from behind, which make it a four. And I get two shots. Woohoo! So, it's just a. Uh, Four plus, no problem. Okay, I got one. So four against nine. Ooh. Oh, hey, I got I got some damage. Ouch. So that's going to be uh, equal, right? Equal. So minus three on this roll. So nothing but two pins. Stunned or whatever it is. Nothing. <laughs> two pins. Okay. Next die. Another one of Andre's. So finally some bad luck for Andre. Passed the, failed the one pin order with that. Matilda it backed up. Another one of mine. Okay, so I'm out of armor. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm down to just infantry and AT guns. Um, well, let me think about it. I had the squad that was standing in the crossroads. They just kind of ran through 
the gap there, they're inside that building now. It's pretty safe to be in a building. It's not much HE out there, no big HE, only one inch templates. Next that. Another one of mine. Hmm, so I got some reserves. And some outflankers. I place this truck on ambush. He's got a machine gun so he can cover this area fairly well. Another one of mine. So that's it for what I have on the board. Whoops. <laughs> uh, so I just have reserves left. Got my Elephantino in. I left the truck off. Or the artillery tractor because there's no point. But I brought him in behind these rocks behind here and I did bring the correct model in finally. I had the wrong, I had the AT rifle model. This is the correct Elephantino model here. So he's in, can't fire. Next guy is one of Andre's. Andre's moved his artillery marker over to the crossroads. We're and targeting the crossroads. Full effect, fire for I effect on the crossroads. I could have there was somebody there. Uh, so I got an infantry squad and a truck off the board. What the hell do I want to do with those guys? Drive them to the crossroads. <laughs> yeah, good good idea. Right into the artillery. Um, Alright, I'll think about it. The moot point. <laughs> yeah, the moot point. So I failed the order with the truck carrying the squad. So the squad and the truck will stay off. And another one of Andre's. Andre's officer has run around straight towards my lines. Well, what's left of them. Another one of Andre's dice. So he's got nothing left on the board. So he's going to have to start bringing stuff in. Andre failed the order of bringing the, brand, uh, the India pattern carriers, thankfully, because he was going to get a rear shot on my tank. Another one of mine. The guy's down off the board. I'll put these guys. These are my outflankers. They'll go down. I only should only have one more, right? You got three more in the bag. Three more. Okay, so this will be my carrier or my uh, transport for my gun. I'm just got. Okay, and that'll be my outflankers. And next guy. This one, Andre. So he's got two sections and his captain still to come in. Infantry section made it on, and they've run up there behind that building. Uh, out of line of sight of everything. So next, next day. I think I'm out of dice, right? Me again. Oh, I have two dice that were for these two destroyed tanks that never got to activate. <laughs> that's probably, if I have two dice, that's probably what they're for. So you're almost so to I a victory point. So I guess it's just me. Yep. Just okay. one left or two? Two. Uh, I got the captain and oh, okay. those captain boys. And another section. Uh, so the captain will go ahead and pop in. Did he pass an order? No. He's a captain. Uh, he makes it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Okay, and then one section left. Uh, do I really want those guys? I mean, you don't have to bring them in. They'll wait another turn. But, is there a real bonus to waiting? Not really. <laughs> I'd that's, probably bring them in. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. They're not going to get shot at. Nine? They don't make it. Okay. All right, that'll be it for turn two. Didn't somebody else not make it? Yeah, the carriers. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we move on to turn Why three. are we hesitating, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Off of turn three, we got to roll for the artillery. It's coming in. All right. So roll another How d6. Big? Come on, one, three, a nine. Nine. Inch. So you'll get the truck. You'll get the squad. We'll get the objective. Truck and squad. All right. Roll for the squad. Just don't roll a six. <laughs> Come on. <man. laughs> it's yeah. only a howitzer. It's only a four-inch template. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so the truck. for the truck. Uh, so that's going to be D3 pins. Nothing but a pin. One pin. Right, we're going to, I'm going to go down. So we're saying I can go down in this case only on this 
I can go down after I see if it hits. And it was better off when I was just eyeballing it because I hit everybody. <laughs> Every single guy? Yeah. The four inch template or the five inch? You're looking at the five or the four? There's a five inch on here? Well, the outside. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. So the outside is the four inch. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, you're not hitting that guy. I'm not? No. How about now? Okay. So you hit everybody. But half of that because I went down. Okay. So, so anything but with five dice. Whoa! Oh, oh wow. Woo. That was turning. <laughs> <laughs> Some luck has gone my way. So only two die. That's huge. But it's like D6 pins, I think. Or something crazy like that. Four pins. And two dead? Yeah. Well, you got lucky. I got damn lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I got real lucky. I'll take the four pins. Hell wow. Yeah. And then, so I took one pin on the truck, four pins there, lost two guys, but they're down. So you can take a dice out, put them down, one of their order dice. And then I lost two, so I'm down to like, man, I'm down to nine order dice now. With those guys down, being down, 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 down to be down. Next die. Next die. It's one of mine. Hey, first die. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I probably should take a shot at your tank with my uh, my gun, I guess. Yeah, I probably should fire at the Matilda with my AT gun. I mean, if I don't, he might not be there. What? When the next when my next dice comes out, so we'll get that set up. And I'm not within point blank, sadly, but I I only need a three. It's a hit. Nothing to it. All right, so that's a four, a five, a six. Because I'm hitting you from behind with a light AT gun. So six against nine. Ooh, you bastard. I'll take a pin. He's up to three pins. <laughs> Damn you. All right. Um, let me think what I want to do next. I decided to, after much debate, decided to re reverse back and fire the hole mounted light AT gun at the Matilda. Not ideal, but at least I'm going to get an ass shot from the uh, India carrier. So, needing a four. It's a three. Oh, ah, yeah. Perfect. It's one of those days. It's, yeah, it's been one of those days. <laughs> Another one. Try again. Mine? Okay. Uh, well, I guess now I'm free to do something else. So, my armored car could probably do something. My armored car has come around the rock corner. We're going to go after the officer. Um, I was able to get within point blank. I'm going to use the coax. Andre went down, so I'm needing sixes. Come on, give me a couple sixes. Ooh. Okay, we got one. Got one. Right, now give me a four. Ooh, Ooh, it's another six. If I get the trifecta here, I can kill the officer. No. Oh, six six five. <laughs> six six five. So one guy you're, is You're not as evil as I thought. One guy is dead. So take a morale check, Andre, because you lost half your units. Uh, I should probably not roll order dice for that, huh? No. <laughs> he's good. So he's down to just the officer and one pin. So next die. It's one of Andre's. Andre's moved uh, past the order, the one pin order with the Matilda. Turned to face my little tank, and he's firing the main gun. A three. That's a miss. That's a miss. Yes, because you moved. With the move. Yes. A move. Miss. Finally, I think that's Woo. the first miss you've gotten with an AT gun today. <laughs> <laughs> why would you want to miss? <laughs> yeah, why, I, <laughs> I didn't come here to miss. <laughs> I don't want to miss. <laughs> why would you want to miss? <laughs> Another one of mine. Oh, my truck right here. We're counting on these three pins to save us. <laughs> and possibly get They're a little tank. too distracted to push the lever. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, well that helps. So now we'll get these guys out. Actually, I could have... Hold on here. I do have a machine gun in here. I can see that section back there. So it's a Hail Mary here. I need sevens, but... You know. 
Yep, not happening. Okay. Okay, now I will get the guys out of the truck. I'm going to target the seat officer. So I'm going to need sevens with the yellow and the green are the SMG, which is going to need a sixes. Uh, whoa. Two, three. Three oh, possibles. Possible. I got one hit. One hit. Wow. We can take this dude down. Nope. Well, I still take him down with a four. Come on. Oh, no. he's dead. Seek officer. Well, that's why the lieutenants don't last very long. <laughs> they do stupid stuff like run up to the... Well, there is nobody the out there. <laughs> <laughs> I was running over to the Matilda. So I'll take his order dice. But I'll only get one. I didn't actually kill it. No, you're off. Oh. One of those is your okay. spotter. We take the free spotter's dice and him off the board when he does his thing. That's just a house rule. One of Andre's. Next up, the two pounder is gonna. Did he have a, a pin or did he already pass an order with that? He already passed an order. Okay. So he's gonna take a shot at the auto blinda. Needing a four is for long range. What? Yeah, another miss. That's what? two in a row. Okay, it's turning. Uh, it's turning. How can I. How can I play under these conditions? <laughs> I know. It's, it's brutal. When everything isn't going perfect. <laughs> Another one of Andre's. Andre rallies Matilda, but sadly he did not clear all the pins. He's still at one pin. Another one of yours. Andre's uh, passed the order finally with the uh, India pattern carriers. He is going to fire the three LMGs at this squad and the boys at this uh, armored car. Oh, lots of hits. Oh, okay, that's a hit with the boys. We'll count them up. Yeah, so the... That's a pin. That's a pin on the, yeah. Plus one on the boys because it's long range, so we can't really do anything except put a pin on it. But he did get four hits with the machine guns onto the section. So that's a... Four and a six. So two, two dead. dead. Uh, I don't want to take the guys out next to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing keeping my truck alive is that dude there. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't drive off, sir. Don't drive off. Uh, and then a pin. And that's it. So next die. Another one of Andre's. Andre has advanced half of the section out. He wants to keep half in cover from this guy. Uh, so only the machine gun, the Bren, can see these guys, and he's going to fire. Them. So moved, long range, soft cover, sixes. One hit. One hit. So that's another pin, which is actually two pins, because I have that Prudente rule. Nothing but a Prudente pin. <laughs> yeah, so they're at two, but it'll be three because of that stupid rule. Horrible negative rule. Uh, okay, next die. Another one of mine. All right. Uh, what the hell do I have left? They're down. My truck. Oh. Hey, my truck could fire. Yeah, I'll fire my truck. So it'll be in hard cover. It'll be long range hard cover. So sixes. Truck has advanced oh, up. And I got within not long range. But they're still in hard cover and I moved. So I need uh, sixes. Nope. Man. All right, next day. Where's their uh, pin? Would have right been great. Them. That's me. So what do you got left? Actually, uh, wasn't I supposed to pull a? Or they both operate under one die? Yeah, for now, yeah. Okay. Because they're as a unit, so. But you got guys inside that can get out, because you just advanced, right? So. Yep. You could, uh, you could get out. You still got another unit in reserve, I think. Yeah, you still got a section off the board. All right, we'll let Andre decide what he wants to do. The British captain has moved up there. Another one of Andre's, so... Is that your last one? I got three more. Oh, you got one, You got these guys. One, oh, you got the guys in the, in the carriers and then one off the board. Okay. The section in the carriers has gone down. Okay, so what I have left? Is this, I have one more after this? Two. Two. You got your carrier. 
Oh, that's or, right. I got. That's right. I got this dude. Those go down. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right then. Well, so you got your two my outflankers. Off, uh... Do my outflankers want to come in now, or do I want to wait? I'm gonna wait another turn for them so they can get farther up the board. You sure they're not coming in on this side? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> Okay, they'll go down right next time. <laughs> okay, so the rest is me. Uh, well, I have one left, but it's the carriers, yeah, or the guys in the in the truck. So yeah, the rest are you. Andre okay. put these guys on ambush, and then his last section came in. I'm assuming he passed the order. Oh, so now that. you're gonna fail because you did it backwards. Nope, not this time. He did pass. So two sections in the middle, another section. This all th three sections. Bomb rush in the middle, it looks like. So, and I got one. <laughs> and two dead tanks and an armored car. So, yeah. You got your gun back. Oh, did I ever. Oh, I did. I'm like, yeah, you rallied. I still got pins if I rally. <laughs> you did rally, but uh, you didn't clear them all. So, uh, that's it. So, move on to turn four. Okay, turn four. Is it important yet? Uh, I haven't got the sense it's been important for the first dice yet. Yeah. But I mean, maybe now there it is. Be. So much going on right now. <laughs> There's it's a lot. Not. That's why I love these missions. Gonna it's like, shift that much. Normally, it's it's actually. We'll not, give it to you now. I'll not as spread out two. as I thought. So yeah, because normally it's spread out from edge to edge, but you decided to make a big concentrated push up the middle, which leaves these guys. Man, I got the four pins though. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna have to rally, <laughs> rally for sure. This guy's got a pin. They got three pins, essentially, with the rule. Man, okay. Let me think about it. I guess maybe another sh rear shot on the, on the Matilda. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Come on, Elephantino, you can do it. Ugh. Oh, you bastard. He missed. Ah, That's harsh. Yeah, that's pretty Well, much at least it wasn't a super important first die. Ah, no. Another one of Andre's. Okay, so Andre is going to activate his captain. So he's going to activate himself, and then he's going to have the the uh, carriers moved up. Twelve, staying within twelve, still of the captain. He's got a twelve-inch range. He's going to have them fire at so the AT rifle at this, right? Yep. And then the machine guns at those guys. And the AT rifle hit again. Uh, so for the machine guns you need moved soft cover so fives so four hits with the machine guns and then the AT rifle hit so plus two so and then four machine gun hits four machine gun hits so one, one dead, dead which is a six one dead and another pin Whew, these guys are really hurting and then the AT rifle a five. Two plus three is a five, so nothing but a pin. Okay, so that's two of the two of the captain's orders, so he has one left. Okay, the second dice, he's got the section out. I'm gonna go down. <laughs> I need to go down here. Okay. Um, so they're gonna get within point blank. So it'd be soft cover moved five. Uh, soft cover moved would be fives. Point blank would be fours, but then I'm going to go down and make it sixes. Okay. And then you're going to have uh, eight rifles and a machine gun. So 12 shots. So I'm needing sixes. They haven't been a problem for Andre tonight. They've been yeah. a problem for me, but. Fives weren't a problem either. That so. would be a great four up roll. <laughs> so just three. Just three hits. So another pin. Which is going to bring them up to four, <laughs> five with the prudente rule. Damn, another six. Another dead. Okay. So that squad not looking great. <laughs> okay, so that's two dice there. So that's two of the three for the captain. So you have one left. And you can do something on, with the captain. He's not going to issue the third order with the captain. So, next but die. <laughs> we, or, 
But I do pull out an extra die yeah. for the other carriers. The carriers. Yes. So they can split up now. Like if you want to start operating them independently, you can. It's another one of Andre's. Sure. Andre has passed the one pin order with the Matilda. He's firing the armored car. It's got a hit. And that's a side shot. So plus one. So five against seven. Ah. Oh, no. We have penetration. Oh. Oh, that's a dead. He's dead. <laughs> all <laughs> right. That was all my vehicles. No, I got no, one you tank don't. left. You got, you got three. Four vehicles left, Tavis. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're exaggerating. Three of them are trucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm exaggerating. Uh, it's not looking good. <laughs> These guys are about toast. Yeah, I got it's over. So I'm screwed. The Matilda or the uh, Matilda kill. Hey, look, it's one of mine. Uh, okay, so they're they went down. Can you pull a dice and put them down, please? Uh. I have no idea what the hell they even do. I got my outflankers. What the hell are they going to do? Uh, all right, let me think about it. My truck, yeah. So my <laughs> my truck has moved up there. And we're going to fire at those guys in the open. Uh, moved, probably long range. So fives. Two hits. Two hits. Needing fours. I got one. Hey, I killed something. I killed a guy. It's amazing. If I take out the right guy, can they be in cover from the other direction? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, a casualty? Well, you've oh, lost wait. your two officers. You lost your uh, lieutenant and one guy. Okay. <laughs> I've lost two tanks, an armored car, and three guys, I think. So, Infantry-wise, I haven't lost Actually, a lot. I lost my officer. Oh, no. That's Six it. Guys. You lost your officer. Because this was the observer, yeah. and that's really just my officer team. So this is my first uh, yeah. grunt casualty. Right. Turn four. Turn four, <laughs> the first grunt casualty. And my wow. firepower is dwindling. Another one of Andre's. Andre has run this section up to the middle objective, thus claiming the truck, which we just thought of a cool special house rule. He could take a guy out, two guys. One guy to drive, one guy to man the machine gun. And instead of destroying the truck, he just gets hit it and starts blasting. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be super awesome. <laughs> All right, next die. That's one of mine. Okay. That little tank has driven up. Careful to stay out of line of sight of the two-pounder. We're going to fire a whole mounted light AT gun at the Matilda, point blank. So I'll need three for that. And then we're going to fire at the section in the open with the twin turret mounted machine guns so it's a four force for everything right yeah so I just yeah. Move, yeah fours or three no it's a three I'm sorry a three for this because I'm point blank okay and then fours for that <laughs> of course I missed <laughs> uh, that's about all you oh the threes don't hit there nope sadly only seven hits only seven hits, so I should be able to do some damage to these boys needing fours. One, two, three, four dead. Ooh. Oh, and the Bren. So we'll take so out... There's two and two more. Yep. And another pin. Ouch. Okay, well that helped a little bit. It's not going to salvage anything for me, but at least we got some damage on them. So next turn, or uh, next die please. Andre die. Matilda's gonna try to take out the little tank. Oh, he missed. Oh wait, no, because we're point blank. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I was gonna say you finally missed a shot. Nope. I tried. Ah, so that's that's a nine. Yeah, you definitely penetrated. But, Ooh. but you only did two uh, two pins, stunned them or whatever. So. Could have been worse. But we got him ranged in. He's ranged in. Hitting on anything but. Another British dice. So the section that just got lit up by the tank. Uh, they passed their order thanks to the captain. They still got some pins. And they went on ambush. So I got two squads on ambush against my outflankers. Who are going to be coming in 
into a hail of gunfire. But what do I have left? I mean, oh, I still got my truck here. Yeah. So, all right, I'll do something with the truck, I suppose. Truck is advanced up. We're gonna fire at this section here in the open even force. Hey! They got a hit. You got a hit. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Take the win, take the win. <laughs> Nothing but a pin. Nothing but a pin. Oh my god. Hey, try again. That's some crap. Uh, well, what do I have left? I These guys know, with the four. in the bag. I got the guys with the four pins. I guess they'll rally. They do rally. Hey, they're pin free. Woohoo. All right, next day. I'll be able to claim that objective. <laughs> yeah, one point. One point for me. Uh, another one of mine. So I have one left after this. You got two left. Two left. What the hell do I have? Is that one back there on the truck? No, that's. No. Uh, we'll sort it out. Put our guy off the board. Our artillery tractor off the board down. Uh, okay, that didn't buy us any time. So I guess it's time to bring in the uh, outflankers. Yeah, you can put them down. <laughs> at this point, I'm better off not giving you any more kill points. <laughs> it's not that they're going to take anything, but we'll do it. What the hell? Bring them in. They're coming in. Woohoo! All right. Not a, that would have been a smart one to, to fail, boys. <laughs> yeah. At least I would have tried and failed instead of just not <laughs> trying. But now I have to bring them in, so they're going to take a bunch of shooting. All right. Decided to bring my... I was able to bring them in 36... Um, I was luckily, 36 put me behind this rock in these woods, so they can't fire their ambush, but these guys are going to fire their ambush needing fives. As the One drives. hit! Oh. <laughs> nice. Hey, look at a bad roll from Andre. You'll probably get a six and destroy the truck. Nope, nothing but a pin. Wow. Wow. Nothing but two pins. A pin per, yeah. A pin on the truck, pin on the guys inside, and we'll finish our move. Yeah, so I finished my move, uh, pin on the guys inside, pin on the guy on the truck, and then I'm up there behind the woods ready for the uh, two-pounder to take me out. So I got to rotate. Which, yeah, which will give you a minus one to hit. You Maybe didn't quite on, make point blank. You'll be hitting on a four. Ah, that's another hit. So you just need a two plus to do something. It's a penetrating hit. Oh, God. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> Four, five, six. Uh, okay, so D6 hits on the guys inside. Hey, it's only one hit. One hit. So the guy inside one dies, dead. and the truck dies. A pin on the... Another pin on... Two more pins on the guys inside, I think. So they'll be at three pins on the guys inside and they're going to have to get out. So I got out uh, with my three pins um, in the woods, but these five guys are on ambush. So they're going to take a shot at me. Probably needing fives, I think. Pin, soft cover. Damn. Wow, you missed. Wow. Wow, Andre had a rare whiff. Two in a row. Twiffs in a row. <laughs> it's a twiff. <laughs> <laughs> so long as they don't get a triff uh, coming up. Uh, next die. No, that was it. That was it. That was the end of the that's, uh, that's, turn. Uh, end of the fourth. All right, go on. Top to of turn the fifth. Five. Okay, I'm going to concede. The Italians are going to pack it up. We're heading back to the rear. There's no way in hell I can win this. I mean, I've lost just on. Just on kill points, which are you only need three of them. <laughs> you need three dice to get a kill point. And I've lost, I don't have a single objective. Andre's got this one. These guys are toast. I've got this one. He's got that one. So he's got three points and five of my order dice, which is... I could get that one. I could probably yeah, take that, that one. one. Yeah, and I could maybe get that one. Or I could get that one. But that's yeah. not going to be enough. I've got one of Andre's order dice order dice to my five so yeah it's a straight beat down um yeah it was harsh so the the Sikh army in that book is just ridiculous with the free observer the free squad 
I mean, that's like 200 and something points of units. Plus the, you know, I paid 20. Okay, for 20 points, for the cost of a Bren gun, you got a squad and an observer. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, man. And then the Matildas, you know, even though they only have the light AT gun, still being medium tanks is a big difference. That, um, that was a big deal. And that was really my only strategic. Strategic, <laughs> strategic uh, maneuver on the whole thing was when you positioned your tanks uh, together up there. Yeah. And knowing that they had the uh, rivets, it's like, okay, I'm going <laughs> to pincer movement. I'm going to bring one around each way. One of them's going to get a side shot. I didn't expect them to go down anywhere near that quickly, but I was pretty sure I could neutralize them by turn three, four. Um, I just got super uh, lucky on that. But. Yeah, having to deploy first sucked in this one, actually. Yeah. I would have rather preferred to be the attacker and like position my tanks to counter with your deployment. But, I mean, the bad rolling started right at the beginning because it's like, okay, now I got to... I mean, I got to pick the quarter, but yeah, it well, didn't even matter. <laughs> you, ha you literally <laughs> held that table half with all the hard cover in it. With one squad. Yes. <laughs> well, and, yeah. the, and the truck. And the truck. Who's still alive. Yeah. But. Um, so, yeah, it, but, you know, being able to just allow or ignore all the, well, I just ignored that half of the board. Yeah, you, don't, you just go for the middle. So, initially, my, all the infantry was going to pour into that side of the board. I was pretty sure I was going to have to just pour it all in over there to root you out. Yeah. And we were going to have a huge bloody firefight, but then... With both your tanks down, what, turn two? Yeah, <laughs> turn um, two of my... It's like, okay, I've got all this invincible... Not invincible, but um, you were going to have to put everything you had into dealing with my two Matildas, which meant you weren't going to be able to uh, soften up my infantry like right. I was worried about. Um, no, no, I was fully prepared to ignore your Matildas and just use all my machine guns on your infantry. Because I knew they were the only ones I can claim an objective. Yep, yep. So it's like... I'll just let your Matildas miss, whiff, whatever, and just pour 15 shots per tank per turn into the infantry. That was kind of my plan, Yeah. but they never made it. I mean, I put them out here right away, and then you just put your Matildas right there, and that was it. There's nothing I could do about it. Uh, I well, am recorded. I've never seen a two-pounder be a <laughs> two hero pounder. in a game before. The two-pounder was awesome, yes. Um, the yeah, two-pounder did really well. He had what? Two, well, he, he only... Had a, he didn't have any kills, did he? But he had uh, three hits. He immobilized. He immobilized one tank, and yeah. I think he, well, he hit another one. He hit. The, I I believe he hit all three of the dead vehicles. Yeah. I don't know that he actually killed any of them, but he put pins on stuff for sure, and but immobilized. And yeah. That's huge, and uh, pins on vehicles and bold action is huge. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a rough game for the Italians for sure, but. Uh, yeah, it's just hard to deal with these uh, the Sikh list, the Commonwealth list with Indians. Uh, just with the amount of free stuff they get is just insane. So I mean, it's kind of like the tournaments people are bringing <laughs> the these Sikh guys. List. Why yeah. wouldn't you? Well, no, it, uh, I liked it because to get the two Matildas, you have to have four sections. It's one tank per two infantry. Oh wow! So you buy three, you get the free one, and then you can buy an extra tank. Nice. It's like, okay, that's cool. Yeah. And then you get the free observer who actually did something this game. First time it's in a while, Andre. It's been yeah. a long time since my observer's been uh, yeah. worth the zero points. I did, <laughs> uh, I used the observer a few games ago as the British and did a bunch of damage to something, I remember. I think it was me. Against you. I seem to remember being pissed off about that because <laughs> it was like, yeah, you I know, I hit a bunch you're of always shit. whining about this <laughs> and I haven't done shit for like yeah. three games with him and you're going to come in here and just wipe me. Nice. But yeah, in this game you actually got the four inch template. We're pretty sure about the, the fact that you can go down after, just in the case of that observer, not a normal like mortar, you can't do that. But if you can do it after an artillery hits you. Just, I think that's a nice thing to do just because, I mean, you're going to go down on a one in six chance. I mean, it's you do that in the rest of the game when mortars and stuff hit. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Anyway, it was a good game, I guess. Uh, kind of boring, maybe. Uh, not a, like, down to the last order dice type of game at all, but still fun. It's still a fun game. 
Bolt action is always fun. Even when it's a blowout, it can be fun. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know that this was necessarily boring for anybody other than you. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, you, you were just kind of handcuffed through a big chunk of the game, which, you know, that doesn't make a fun game from the play perspective. But yeah. just well, in terms of the interactions and, you know, the uh, really knowing that it's bolt action and... It can turn around on a dime. Yeah, it so, always can. Yeah, yeah. It was like, okay, turn two. The those two tanks are toast. Um, <laughs> is it over? And it, and it's like, no. Don't become overconfident. Don't screw this up. Because um, I've done that before, where yeah. you just kind of ease off, take your foot off the gas, and go, okay, I don't want to just totally blow this out. And it doesn't take that much bad luck in this game to nope. just swing at 180. Well, it's still an infantry game, and I still had a lot of infantry on the available when my tanks got taken out. So I wasn't, I mean, I was like bummed and concerned, but I knew there was still a chance. But I mean, the Andre's dice, on top of having the superior list, your dice were like just unbelievable. There yeah. was like one small, one small little point of time. I did have a in chunk the, in there where it's, bad well, rolls. actually the second half of the game, it did cool off a bit, Yeah. but it wasn't, Bad rolling, it just was more average. Yeah, and you're just, at the beginning, you just weren't missing. So yeah. Anyway, yeah. So it was a fun game, um, and we'll try it again. Maybe, maybe next time we play the Seeks, we won't let them bring all the free shit. <laughs> <laughs> just playing as more of a regular British list because it's it gets a little out of control, especially when the person controlling them is just like on fire. So anyway, uh, with that, we'll go ahead and uh, call the game. And thanks to all the guys that came by in the live stream. And thanks to Andre for coming out. And let us know what you guys think. Uh, if there's anything I could have done differently, you know, give me some advice. I don't think there's a whole lot I could have done against this list and that rolling, but maybe I missed something. So, yeah. Uh, honestly, your thoughts on just ignoring the Matildas, that's basically where I was kind of coming from was in bolt action. It's a one die roll. You just count right. on the big guns missing a lot because right. they do. Yeah, normally. And they're not even big guns. They're well, light AT guns. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're big for what we got on the board. They have one gun. Yeah, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so with that, uh, we'll say thanks, guys, for watching. Check out our, our channel sponsors in our description of the video. Check out our social media stuff, our Patreon page if you want to support the channel. And course dad and don gaming go check those guys out uh, if you want to get a sweet dice bag with your own personal logo on it super awesome and uh yeah so let us know what you guys think and we'll see you next time